gravity can be confusing. Welcome to Beery Theory. So gravity in the world of beer is the density of the wort compared with the original water at many stages during the fermentation. Remember, wort is the lovely brown liquid that comes from the malt that contains all the sugars to get the yeast going to produce alcohol. So basically, it's the amount of sugar suspended in the beer put in a figure that creates a ratio between the wort and the original water. There are two main terms that are used, original gravity and final gravity, and gravity starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. <laughs> original gravity, or OG, is the amount of sugar in the wort after boiling, but before fermentation. Basically, you boil the sugary wort, wort has evaporated, and the proportion of sugar rises, giving you your original gravity. Final gravity is the amount of sugar in the beer after fermentation. So your boiled wort and sugar is converted into alcohol by the yeast, the yeast gobbles up the sugar, and so your density goes down. High gravities don't always equal strong beer. It's all about the relationship between the original gravity and the final gravity. If there's more sugar to be gobbled up by the yeast, then there's gonna be more alcohol in the finished product. For brewers, it's a pretty important thing, but for beer lovers like you and I, it's probably just another thing on the bottle to compare with all the other beers in your range. Thanks for watching this episode of Beery Theory. We'll see you again soon.